Hello everyone, my name is Jade Ulrich. I'm a clinical dietitian here at KSB Hospital, and thank you so much for tuning in for this nutrition presentation on All About Legumes. So first, let's talk about what are legumes. So there are actually three terms, legumes, pulses, and beans that are often used interchangeably, but they all are a little bit different. So legume is a scientific term that describes a type of plant that includes pods. And the word pulse is used to describe the seeds that you can eat found in those pods, such as beans, peas, and lentils, which is what I will be talking about today. So beans include kidney beans, pinto beans, white beans, black beans, navy beans, lima beans, fava beans, and several others as well. Dried peas include chickpeas, black-eyed peas, and pigeon peas and split peas. And mame, which is the soybean found in the pod, is also counted in this group. However, green peas and string green beans are not a part of this group because their nutrition is more like the foods in other vegetable groups. And so you can see in these two pictures here, uh, the pod, which is the legume, and the peas in the top picture and the beans in the bottom picture are the pulses. So here are some health benefits of legumes or pulses. So the nutrition found in pulses, again, these are the beans, peas, and lentils, are similar to foods found both in the vegetables food group and the protein food group. So like vegetables, pulses are excellent sources of fiber, folate, and potassium. And like the protein foods group, pulses are excellent sources of plant protein and also provide iron and zinc. And so replacing processed foods or high fat meats, such as hot dogs, sausages, bacon, and several others um, with beans, peas, or lentils could help to lower intake of saturated fats, which as we talked about in previous videos, there's the more unhealthy types of fat um, as well as sodium. And so these can also increase your intake of dietary fiber. So therefore, including pulses in your diet can have benefits toward heart health, digestive health, and weight management. So how much should you eat of the pulses? For a 2000 calorie diet, it is recommended to consume one and a half cups of beans, peas, or lentils per week. And so for reference, a quarter cup cooked beans is equal to about one ounce of protein. And so according to the dietary guidelines for Americans, beans, peas, and lentils are underconsumed by most adults. And also those consuming vegetarian or vegan diets, pulses should be included as a source of plant-based protein. And so here are uh, a few other tips on using pulses. So pulses are inexpensive and can be used in a variety of recipes. And when using canned beans or canned lentils, you wanna check the food label for lower sodium options as some can contain high amounts of sodium in the canning process as well as you can also rinse the beans and lentils to remove some of that excess sodium. Canned beans and lentils are also pre-cooked, meaning that they are ready to add to your recipes, whereas dried beans and lentils will require some extra preparation before they can be used in a recipe. And I have also provided a few recipes from the American Heart Association containing beans, including egg, avocado, and black bean breakfast burrito, black beans and rice, mango, avocado, and black bean salad, and three sister soup, which contains pumpkin, corn, and kidney beans. So thank you so much for joining me for this presentation on all about legumes. I hope you learned a little bit more about the difference between legumes and pulses, the health benefits of pulses, and tips on cooking with pulses. And again, be sure to check out the link in the description of the video for those four bean recipes. Thank you so much and have a good night.